What's going on, YouTube? It is your boy Jet, and I am back in the mix. People, I have logged on at the right time. Everybody's favorite map for Jell and Cotton is back in the map rotation. But this time, I'm going to do things a bit differently. I'm going to take out an M21 and nothing else. I mean, I mean, besides the obvious healing stuff and consumables. So this means that I'm set up for long range, as I'm about to demonstrate here. I'm set up for long range. But when it comes to mid and short range, I have no option. I mean, yes, I can use the M21 for, you know, like a short range kind of deal, but I have a very slow fire rate. Very slow fire rate, excuse me. And... The reason why I'm bringing this out is because when I first started this game, this game was the, well, this sniper rifle was the Mac Daddy. If you think the most I got in the, M, in the M82 is a railgun? No. Back in the days when food had no purpose. Yes, that's how long I've been in this game, when food didn't have a purpose. You can loot an entire house and find 1,000 food and left it behind. Also, people left um, fertilizer behind too. But back in, back in those days, the M21 was that weapon. If you didn't have an M21, you, you did not play this game enough. You had to have an M21. Because when you seen this map come up, you took out that M21 and you headshot, and you headshot a people from about 500 yards away. So that's why I'm bringing this weapon up, because it doesn't have that same shine that it used to, you know? Because now we have rifles like the uh, the the one that starts with the S and ends in 82, that's in the same class as this one. The M82, obviously. Then you got the SVU, which is like a whole suppressed behind, behind semi-automatic sniper rifle. Might as well call it a DMR at this point. You know, it's, this weapon, it lost its shine. And that makes me really sad because this weapon holds a very special place in my heart. So with that being said, I'm going to analyze the lobby real quick and we find that people have bought stuff. That is the Vagella content effect. When people see this map, they bring out the good stuff. The good stuff to kill, pe to kill, to kill people with to get even better stuff. So, all right, somebody is going to spawn up here, right there. And behind me too so that being said I need to loot this house in front of me and I need to do it quick because I, I guarantee you they're gonna be coming running down this hill like some Titans from attack on Titan I don't even know why I needed to say attack on Titan but let's see we'll do this real quick all right there's one right there oh I don't, I don't even know what it was it was so quick picture wonderful all right time to get out of the house so I analyze it later whenever I get a safe distance from this house I'm going to look behind me just to prove to y'all that I know my spawning system. So, keep in, wa watch this now. Wait for it. People. Yup. Just like I said, and somebody's already on top of that ridge. What did I tell y'all? If you spawn on a map, keep that spawn in your head catalog it log it away the next time you spawn on that map and you spawn near that location but not at that location somebody's going to be at that location that you spawned at and that guy gets destroyed somebody's going to be at that location that you spawned at and if you run that way there's a 90 percent chance you'll get into a gunfight and i'm going to see if i can Excuse me, if I can get a kill here, because that guy. Nope. He's spooked. Can't do it. Alright, so I was going to try to get a kill on that dude. Um, He played it smart. He didn't loot his prize immediately. But, oh, there he goes. He activated, activated the um disruptive tower. Now what that does is it hides all markers on your map. 
and including there's a person there's a person if they stop on the edge well they should have no reason to stop on the edge okay cool he's probably going to find a weapon you go out there to find a weapon in case you didn't know um so yeah he played it safe the guy that killed old dude on top of the ridge back there he didn't stop to loot his uh <clears throat> excuse me his reward immediately because he knew that he was probably getting stalked and there he goes to hitting the signal detector so that guy is nearby he's basically behind me and i'm gonna keep moving forward i found my picture area i know exactly where it's at all i need to do is look at it once and it is actually on the other side of the mountain to the right of your screen it's basically over that mountain ridge right there now the task is th the task is this to move over there swiftly and quietly because it's one thing to make it over there but it's another thing to make it over there undetected people will stalk you in this game they will stalk you until the last possible second. Good people will stalk you to the last possible second. Regular people. Wow, they're still shooting. Regular people who don't know when to pull the trigger will just pull the trigger and then chase you. There's a difference. Being chased and being stalked are two completely different things. Now, being stalked, it leaves you with a false sense of safety and security. If you were to go back and look at my 300 Fisky Fabric video, I stalked somebody for the best part of about four minutes, maybe five minutes. And I'm not going to spoil the ending. You can watch that video for yourself. But then there's people who shoot at you as soon as they see you. Those are the people who are very headstrong and didn't put any thought into strategy. If you keep up with my channel and my uploads on this game, you will develop a sense of strategy. Strategy is key in this game. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for, for, for uh, future videos. Now, right here, I'm taking a long way around because I'm trying to avoid all the landmarks because the landmarks usually have people in them like right there. That's probably the most dangerous landmark on this game. Mortar strike? Okay. Now this is making me a bit worried. That, that mortar strike tells me two things. I was going to stay in this salt lobby a bit more, but as soon as I get this picture, I'm getting out of here because there's somebody on every landmark it seems like. All right, so the Amarta strike just fell. What does that tell me? That tells me that one, somebody is overseeing that entire position. I forgot what that thing is called. Basically the house in the middle of a donut. Somebody's overseeing that entire house, right? That somebody has seen somebody else. That some, the original person has dropped a mortar strike on that somebody else. And I guarantee you there's going to be a gunfight breaking out there in the next minute or so. I'm not trying to be a part of that. I have no reason to go. I have no reason to go down there. And I would try to third party. But all I have is this one sniper rifle. And if they decide to rush me, I'm done for. Because the M21, even though it does hit pretty hard... It's very difficult to aim at close range. And I don't know the skill level in this lobby, but I do know that guy had a mortar strike. Which means he had to get up there pretty high in terms of experience. So he knows what he's doing. Now, with all that being said, I'm going to try to take this exit that is in here. One of my viewers commented that that's, the, that's their favorite exit. So I'm going to do it for them. I'm going to take this exit right here. Hopefully, nobody's in here. I really hope nobody is in here. Because if they are, I am screwed. I have a sniper rifle in an enclosed area. I am screwed if somebody's in here. Doesn't look like it. 
I'm scouring here just to see if I can find some weapons before I leave. But somebody already came here and ransacked the area, so... Yeah, I don't need a pistol. And I'm going to be out. Screw that phone. The phone is dangerous. And I'm a cold shop behind me. Wonderful. Alright, and that is this encounter done. So the moral of this story is speed is essential. Do not hang around too long in one spot. Get what you need and go. Because I guarantee you, either somebody's, somebody just left the area that you're in, especially if it's a landmark, or somebody's coming to the area. And you don't want to be there when they arrive. Folks, stay tuned to the channel. I upload a bigger encounter daily. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Stay safe. Take care. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.